Such a beautiful day, I feel like he's smiling upon all of us right now. I'm honored to welcome you all today for our interfaith prayer service in remembrance of Stephen Sample, our beloved 10th president of USC, who peacefully passed away yesterday surrounded by family and friends. This afternoon, we gather together as a Trojan family to express our sadness and our solidarity as we mourn the death of Stephen Sample, who served as USC president for 19 years, from 1991 to 2010. Indeed, under his historic leadership, our Trojan family soared to new heights and became one of the most vibrant, diverse, creative, scholarly, engaged communities the world has ever known. During his time as president, USC flourished in every conceivable way, academically, artistically, athletically, altruistically. The university experienced a dramatic rise in reputation and ranking. It welcomed an extremely diverse and global student body to campus, and it embraced an orientation around civic engagement and community service. Ultimately, it lived up to its foundational aspirations, inscribed right here at the base of our, icon our, of our iconic Tommy Trojan statue, the five noble attributes of the ideal Trojan, to be faithful, scholarly, skillful, courageous, and ambitious. During times of grief and sadness, we look to our leadership for guidance. And so I'm very grateful for the presence and support of USC President C.L. Max Nikias during this very difficult time of bereavement. I now ask President Nikias to offer his words and his wisdom to all of us today. Today, we celebrate the life of an extraordinary month and an extraordinary man, a dear friend to all of us, a beloved colleague a gifted scholar and a leader of international caliber. Stephen B. Sambo has left a lasting legacy on our university, on our Trojan family, our community, and on American higher education as a whole. President Sambo will long be remembered for placing our university on an ascending path toward academic excellence over the two decades in which he served as USC's president. What is exceptional is the manner in which he did so. He did so by identifying and embodying the deepest values of our Trojan family. He did so by modeling that most classic aspect of the Trojan spirit, the ability to look into the fog of uncertainty, to sense the promise within, and to move aggressively forward. When President Sambal arrived in 1991, numerous challenges were facing our university, Los Angeles, Southern California, and higher education. But Steve Sambal's determination, his optimism, and his resilience inspired our academic community to not simply manage challenges, but to turn them into moments of transformation that pushed USC into the front of American research universities. Steve framed his career and USC's mission in terms of core academic values. He often reminded others that we are in the people building business. Indeed, he worked tirelessly at that business. During his celebrating 19 years as president, he touched and changed all our lives for the better. And though he was president ensemble, he really enjoyed being called Professor Sambal because I reminded himself and everyone here of our true mission of the great academic calling that binds us. After coming to USC, he and Catherine began a deep love affair with the Trojan family. They embraced and cherished every facet of this university from the academics to Trojan spirit and athletics, from our local community to our worldwide, worldwide alumni base. 
President Sambo quickly identified the distinct DNA of the Trojan family. He sensed the uniqueness and the full potential of this diverse interdisciplinary microcosm of 21st century global society. And he believed that U.S.'s path to greatness could not involve following in any other school's path or in imitating anyone else. It would involve USC becoming fully USC by becoming into full blossoming in those areas where we enjoyed unique advantages. As Cicero said, gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all the other ones. The life and work of Steve Sambel has inspired lasting gratitude within the Trojan family. And from that gratitude comes the virtue of cutting forward in his noble spirit. And so, my fellow Trojans, the story of Steve Sambel passes forever into the loving memory of our worldwide Trojan family, where it will remain powerfully alive, inspiring Trojans for generations to come, driving us all to bring out the best in others, as he said, to sense great possibility as he did, and to transform possibility into life-changing reality, as he did. Thank you. Thank you, President Nikias, for your uplifting and comforting words, and for your strong ethical leadership during this time of mourning. And thank you for convening this important prayer service for our university community so that we all may begin the healing process together. And now I'm honored to introduce the Thornton Choral Artist for a musical meditation. They will be performing the song, The Road Home by Stephen Paulus.
At a time when most deans of religious life were Christian men, he appointed Rabbi Susan Lemley, a Jewish woman, as the first dean of religious life at USC. And at a time when every other dean of religious life was an ordained Protestant minister, he appointed me, a non-ordained Hindu attorney, as the second dean of religious life at USC. So despite being a devout Christian in his personal life, in his professional life, he courageously appointed the only two non-Christian leaders of university religious life in American history. Furthermore, he deeply strengthened the ties and relationships between USC and the Jewish and Muslim communities in Los Angeles. He expanded USC's global reach so that we now have more Hindu students than any other American university. And he spearheaded the creation of the magnificent USC Caruso Catholic Center right here on campus. Such was his commitment to religious diversity and the idea that religion could be part of the solution to the world's great crises and not part of the problem. So it is altogether appropriate that we come together today for an interfaith prayer service as we remember and honor Dr. Stephen Sample. I'm so grateful for the presence of three clergy members who will lead our interfaith service by offering prayers and reflections from the perspective of their faith traditions. Today, we will be led by Rabbi Susan Lemley, who is the Dean of Religious Life Emeritus at USC, Reverend James Burklow, who is a, currently the Associate Dean of Religious Life at USC, and Sheikh Jamal Diwan, who serves as Muslim Chaplain at USC. I ask our religious leaders to join me now at the podium. Yesterday, after having learned of Stephen Sample's death, I found my, in my files, I found my handwritten words of introduction for a talk he gave at USC Hillel in October 1996, just a few months after I'd transitioned from being the Hillel director to becoming USC's Dean of Religious Life. This is what he said. This is what I said about President Sample. Excuse me, I'm moved by being here. When I came to USC some five years ago, I wrote, the first appointment I made on campus was with President Sample. When we met, I encountered a man of many parts, friendly and open, passionate about his mission for the university, and sophisticated about the world, a man with strong religious moorings. A man of parts, I say now. He was a man of parts with strong religious moorings. Yes, he was that, and now he is gone from our midst. Facing that loss, I will read Psalm 24, beginning in Hebrew and continuing in English. This psalm praises the kind of man that President Sample was while acknowledging the divine source of life and death. Along with his beloved Catherine, that divine source anchored Stephen Sample's life. May those of us gathered here today be similarly anchored by love and faith. Ladonai haaretz umelo'a tevel v'yoshveva. The earth is the Lord's and all that it holds, the world and its inhabitants. For God founded it upon the ocean, set it upon the nether streams. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord and who may stand in God's holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not taken a false oath or sworn deceitfully. He shall carry away a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from God his deliverer. Such is the circle of those who turn to God who seek your presence. O gates, lift up your heads, up high, you everlasting doors, so that the King of glory may come in, who is the King of glory, the Lord mighty and valiant, the Lord valiant in struggle. O gates, lift up your heads, lift them up, your everlasting doors, so the King of glory may come in, who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. And let us say, Amen. Let us pray. 
Dear Lord Christ, you are the way that President Sample sought to follow. You are the truth that he sought to know. And you were the life that gave him his first breath and received his last. You are the prince of the peace we need at the passing of our beloved leader of the Trojan family. You are the love that moves us to grieve the loss of his physical presence. In and through our grieving, grant us, O Lord, the grace of memories of him that he would want us to cherish. Grant us awareness of the wisdom he passed on to us. Grant us consciousness of the lasting legacy his leadership imprinted on this university that he served so long and with such devotion. Dear Lord, awaken our consciences to the moral standards to which he aimed to conform personally and professionally. Grant us strength of character to emulate his integrity in all we do as students, faculty, and staff of this university. Dear Lord, we pray for your guidance in and through this institution so that it may be a worthy and fitting memorial to Stephen Sample and a source of comfort and inspiration to his family members who shared in the sacrifices he made to this university. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift you gave us in Stephen Sample. Keep us aware of the gifts he gave us and that it gives to us still. Dear Lord, we remember his challenge to all of us in his last commencement address. He urged us to pay attention to the question of your existence, to seek you out, to know you, not just as he knew you, but as each of us individually might know you for ourselves. Dear Lord, may you be known to us, each of us, in the right ways for us, just as Stephen Sample knew you in his own way while he was among us. And now we pray that his knowledge of you may be complete as he rests in the fullness of your presence. Amen. Good afternoon. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, I want to begin before my reflection by extending my gratitude to President Nikias, Dean Sony, Rabbi Susan, and Reverend Jim for sharing this stage with myself. And my condolences I would like to extend to the family uh, of Dr. Sample. I am perhaps a little bit different than some of the other people who came to stage in that I did not have the fortune of knowing Dr. Sample. And so oftentimes when we're faced with learning about someone that we didn't personally know, we are tasked with following the traces of what came before us. An old ancient Arab proverb says, if you know your father, you knew your grandfather. And so in my brief meetings with President Nikias and my interactions with Dean Sony and the rest of the amazing staff and faculty here at USC, I've had a chance to glimpse a little bit of the traces of the legacy of Dr. Sample. One of those that comes to mind for me is that when I was applying to school, USC wasn't somewhere where we applied to. And as I was reading about the life of Dr. Sample, I realized that that was one of his big accomplishments, that USC now is a great institution to apply to as an undergrad, not only as a research student. I also found out about things that he did, for example, as he took office in the wake of the LA riots, and how he would spend nights sleeping in his office and sharing meals with the students on campus and sitting with them and spending time with them when they were in a time of fear and confusion and that is great servant leadership. This is a small trace that I found. Another trace that I found and that we see right now is the one that Dean Sony mentioned, is the Office of Religious Life on campus and the great diversity of service and perspective that that office offers to the entire community. In our tradition, when someone passes away or when we face any sort of calamity, we say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, which means, 
we are certainly from God and to him do we return. And we believe that one of the few things that we take with us when we go is our deeds. And so what I leave the gathering with today is for each of us to think about what are those traces of the legacy of Dr. Sample that we can benefit from? What are those traces that can inspire us in our own lives as individuals and as a scholarly and academic community to push forward and continue to succeed and, and challenge the darkness that is in front of us? And so I will leave you with one that I came across while I was doing a little bit of reading and perhaps some of you who knew him will realize uh, the connection here. But in spite of the sadness of the occasion, we are all gathered here together today in this beautiful place, in this beautiful environment, with this beautiful weather. And we say in the words of Dr. Sample, isn't it a great day to be a Trojan? Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Susan, James, and Jamal for your prayers and for your presence today. I will now offer a Hindu prayer for Stephen Sample, a verse from the sacred text, the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad. I'll recite it in Sanskrit first, followed by the English translation. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotirgamaya, mritor ma amritam gamaya, om shanti, 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 om. May we go from ignorance to truth, May we go from darkness to light. May we go from death to immortality. And may all beings find peace. Stephen Sample often talked about a scriptural passage that inspired him personally and professionally. Paul's hymn to love from the New Testament. In his hymn to love, Paul says the only permanent thing in the universe is an unselfish act of love. An unselfish act of love endures eternally while everything else eventually passes away. As our president, Stephen Sample gave to us his many unselfish acts of love. Through his unselfish acts of love, he embodied our principles of community, he transformed our university, and he lifted up our city. Today, we acknowledge and affirm that his legacy now lives on through each of us, through our unselfish acts of love. For through our unselfish acts of love, through our empathy and through our compassion for one another, we ultimately fulfill his vision of the Trojan family as a sacred community. So as we remember Stephen Sample today and pray for his family during this difficult time, may we be reminded here of our highest aspirations and inspired to bring our gifts of love and service to the altar of humanity. May we know once again that we are not isolated beings but deeply connected in mystery and in miracle to this university, to this community, and to each other. And may we all say together, amen. This concludes our interfaith prayer service this afternoon. Please keep the Sample family in your thoughts and in your prayers. Please take good care of yourselves and each other. And let's all continue to fight on for Steve. Thank you for being here. And God bless. Thank you.